All right, Mike, let's get right to it. Bears have announced their new head coach, Mark Trestman. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you surprised that Jimmy Johnson, he was way out in front of this. He actually broke this story. How does Jimmy Johnson get that info? I you know, probably talked to him, and maybe there was some stuff that he had to know. Uh, but I got to tell you, I mean, uh, here in Chicago, there's a lot of, I, I don't know if it's underwhelming. We just got to read up on the guy. And what, when you read about Mark Tressman, you see he's had 12, 13 jobs, basically offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, works with quarterbacks, offensive coordinator, quarterback coach. I mean, basically, we hired Bobby Valentine. Did well in Japan. Let's see how it works here. Although Bobby Valentine does have a track record of being in the World Series in 2000. We've hired a guy that hasn't for 13 years been able to have a job and hold on to it. Uh, when Yeah, when a guy has that many opportunities mm-hmm. and that many shakes at it, like mm-hmm. offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach, mm-hmm. is he failing upwards at this point? Yeah, it looks like to me that, you know what, finally he found somebody that likes him. But, I mean, when you have Steve Young talking up for you and other notables and you can't land a head coaching job in all these years and you're 57 years old, you know, it, 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 it's time. Is, is Jay Cutler going to flip him off? How tough is he? I mean, you know, everybody respected Lovey. You got rid of a 10-win coach. Now you bring in this guy who won in Canada, but that doesn't mean a hill of beans when you're talking about the Chicago Bears. So we're waiting to see exactly how this is going to play off. Phil Emery, the general manager, has put all his eggs with Mark Trestman, and we'll find out exactly what's going to happen. Nobody knows for sure, but we do know this. He couldn't land a head coaching job in all these years with anybody else, and there's been a lot of teams and a lot of coaches that have been shown the door, and he wasn't even brought in once to be a head coach. So it's it's sort of like uh, we're waiting to see what happens here, but we're not feeling very, very confident at this point. All right, so you got a head coach. The news was broken by Jimmy Johnson mm-hmm. last week, mm-hmm. right? Uh, mm-hmm. It sounds like news that would be broken by Jimmy Johnson, the NASCAR driver. It's, right. it's, it's just weird enough. you got a quarterback who's married to one of the girls from the Hills. Are the Bears a mess? Are they ju- are they going to turn it around? Are they going to go to the Super Bowl? Or is this like uh, the new – is this Jets Midwest? It's, it, it looks to me like it could be San Diego uh, back in the day when they used to put up a ton of points. But, you know, the game, the final score was 55-42. to 42. I mean, you know, the Bears can put up 42 points, but their defense is the problem here. They're getting older. Uh, you know, you have Peanut Tillman, you got Urlacher, you got Briggs. All these guys are getting long in the tooth. They were great defensively at times this year, especially the first half of the season. Here's what he's going to see. Roberto Garza and that offensive line is still going to be there. Lance Lewis, uh, Cutler, who basically has been indifferent and nobody's been able to get him uh, uh, to, to, to reach out and get over the hump, if you will. Matt Forte has been injured two or three times in the last three years. So they have more than just a head coaching issue. They have have uh, personnel issues, and I, I'm not, I'm not hopeful. Not because of him, not because of Trustman. Peanut may be the worst nickname in sports ever. <laughs> That's like a nickname for a mini golfer. Don't not, you think not, Stumpy would be bad if there was a Stumpy Tillman? Stumpy Tillman, I would like. To me, that's more like old gridiron. Stumpy he's five, Tillman. He's boom. five. He's five foot two, but he plays up against the six five receivers. He's Stumpy that's what Tillman. I would, do. I would nickname the six five receiver Stumpy. <laughs> yeah, and then Stumpy going, Moss. Why is he called Stumpy? Well, it's it's a long story. Look at him. Look at. Him. I mean, what do you mean why? Look, Look at, at him. him. He's <laughs> angular, but he's Stumpy. <laughs> Plus, he's overcoming a missing link. <laughs> yes, a, a missing limb. <laughs> He has a missing limb. We call him Stumpy. He's, he's got the missing limb, but boy, does he run a great out pattern. He has to, yeah, but only, only to one side. Yeah, because he's Stumpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Mark Dressman thing, we're done with it. We don't know what to talk about anymore. We hired a guy from Canada, Chicago Bears, all-time charter team, franchise, George Hallis, Mike Ditka, Mark Dressman. What are the locals doing in Chicago? Are they rioting in the street? Yeah, there's torches down Michigan Avenue. Uh, I tell them the torches have more effect if you wait till the evening, but this thing was announced early this morning. In fact, some of the papers, like the Chicago Tribune and the Chicago Sun-Times, saying it's between three guys, Bevel, Tressman, and Arians. I wanted Bruce Arians. I wanted Bruce Arians. I you, said said he- it, you said it right here on James yeah. Westport. You said he had a little Uncle Fester in him. Little Uncle Fester, but also took over a situation. Yeah, they talk about the bounty. How about your coaches got leukemia? You're thrown into the mix. You take over for rookie quarterback and a bunch of no names, and you win 11 games. But Tressman won a great cup. He won a couple great cups, and that's much, much bigger, apparently, than making the playoffs in the National Football League. And Arians coached the Steelers, coached Roethlisberger. I mean, I don't, I don't know. He was, to me, the shining star this year, along with, well, McCoy until the last game, uh, who ends up going to San Diego. I wanted Bruce Arians. We see we have Trustman. I trust 
in my heart that it's the wrong decision, just like I thought Dave Wanstead was the wrong decision. Uh, I'm not going to say that I thought Lovey was the wrong decision, but nine years without a Super Bowl and only three playoffs, that looks like now that he stayed a little bit too long, but he saved himself by getting into the Super Bowl in 2006, which got him an extension. Mark Trussman, we don't know all the uh, the contractual situation there, but uh, it's going to be interesting as the days go on and who he's going to hire as his like offensive coordinator. And the rest of the – is Rod Marinelli going to stay as a defensive coordinator for the Chicago Bears? What happens to the rest of the – coaches. Mike to- Mike North, expert of all things Chicago, joining us on Jay Moore Sports. Well, I guess the big question, and mm-hmm. we're dancing around it, how does Mark Tressman get this job? Bad, you you, you want to know something? Um, connections, maybe, you know, he, he got along with Phil Emery. They talked. Uh, I know he's well-regarded by some, and he's not well-regarded by others. I mean, it is a lightning rod hire for the Chicago Bears, and, and, and people are going to be going in. Nobody knows what is going to come of this hire. Uh, we don't know if we're going to go upward or downward. That's the kind of hire it is. You wonder why a team like this didn't uh, uh, interview other people. I mean, you got Gruden, you got Coward. Those guys aren't going anywhere. But I'm thinking that there were some other candidates like Bruce Arians and others, even McCoy, uh, I, I was a fan of, especially. And by the way, here's what they're saying today. Trustman's worked with such notable quarterbacks as Brandon Whedon, which which he had a pretty good year, not one of the bigger years of the rookie quarterbacks. Tim Tebow and Jimmy Clausen. Well, I'm going out to buy my season tickets after hearing that. <laughs> Jimmy Clausen, that was the beat-all, end-all. I'm going to get my season ticket money right now because he worked with Jimmy Clausen. All right, don't forget Stumpy, Peanut, Stumpy Clausen, Trestman, Grumpy, and Doc holding it down in Chicago. You know, he year. looks a little bit like that Riley guy from Oregon, yeah. Trestman. I don't yeah. know if they're the same guys, but they're skinny wearing glasses, and they look very <laughs> mild. Skinny guys with glasses all look alike to me. And they look very mild. And they all look mild. They look mild. Thank you, Mike. All right, guys. I'll talk to you very soon. All right, Jay. See ya.